Introduction to the Sampling Distribution of the Sample Means Less Objectives Describe the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Compute the standard error for a sampling distribution. Data from all hospitals in the state of Kentucky involving the weights of infants have been found to be normally distributed with a mean of 7.5 pounds and a standard deviation of 1.1 pounds. So whenever we describe a data set, we want to talk about its shape, its center, and its spread. For this example, the shape, it's normal, so therefore it's symmetric with one mound. Because it's symmetric, we want to use the mean to describe the center. It's 7.5 pounds. And then the spread is measured by the standard deviation, which is 1.1 pounds. Part A, what is the probability that a randomly selected infant from Kentucky weighs more than 9 pounds? B, what is the proportion of all infants in Kentucky who have a weight that is less than 6 pounds? And C, because low birth weight is a sign of possible health problems, a group of doctors want to know the weight for the lightest 15% of infants. Determine the weight and round it to two decimal places. So let's start with A. What is the probability that the infant weighs more than 9 pounds? Our first step is to take 9 pounds, that's our X, and change it to a Z-score. If we draw a picture, the mean is 7.5, it is bell-shaped, and our X is 9. This is area to the right, and we know it's area to the right because it asks weighs more than 9 pounds. Using our Z-score formula, we're going to take 9 minus 7.5, then divide that by 1.1. Subtracting first before we divide, we get 1.5 divided by 1.1, and with z-scores we always round to two decimal places and we get a z-score of 1.36. So we want to know what is the probability z is greater than 1.36, that is area to the right, so we have to do 1 minus what's in the table, and we get a probability of 0 0.0869. That probability matches with our picture. It should be less than 50%, and it is. So the probability that a randomly selected infant weighs more than 9 pounds is a little bit less than 9%. Part B. The proportion that is less than 6.5 pounds, again, let's start with a picture. 6.5 pounds is less than the mean, so that z-score that corresponds to 6.5 pounds should be negative. So when we plug in our values, we get 6.5, that's our x, minus the average, the mean, 7.5, divided by our standard deviation, 1.1. We get a z-score of negative 0.91. We want to find the area to the left of negative 0.91 because we want it to be less than six and a half pounds. So looking this up in the table you should get 0.1814. Part C, this time we're wanting to find a weight and that weight will of course be measured in pounds, same units, and we know that the bottom area, the area to the left of the z-score that I want to find is 15%, 0.15. So let's draw a picture and get a visual of this. So we want to find what weight X is that corresponds to the bottom 15% of weights. Now in order to find X, we first have to find Z that corresponds to this area to the left equal to 15%. So what Z score is this where the area to the left is equal to 15%. Using the table, we want to look to the closest thing to 0 0.1500. It doesn't matter if it's over, it doesn't matter if it's under. And here we can see that 0.15 is in between these two numbers. Which one's closer? Well, if this is money, this is $15.15. .15. This is $14.92. This one would be closer. So this gives us the row and the column. So we see the z-score that corresponds to 15% is a negative 1.04. Now using our formula here, x equals mu 
plus z times sigma. This is the same thing as the z-score, but it's in terms of x. Plugging in what we know, the mean is 7.5, the z-score is a negative 1.04, and sigma, our standard deviation, is 1.1. Multiplying before we add, you should get x is equal to 6.36 rounded off. And this does correspond with our picture because we knew that x had to be less than 7.5. Lesson objective. A dishwasher has a mean life of 12 years and a standard deviation of 1.25 years. The life of a dishwasher is normally distributed. Suppose that you are a manufacturer and you take a sample of 10 dishwashers that you made. A. Describe the sampling distribution of the sample mean, and again, when we talk about distributions, we want to talk about the shape, center, and spread. B. Find the probability that the sample mean of the dishwashers is less than 8 years. And C. If you found a sample mean life of 10 dishwashers to be less than 8 years, would you think that you had a problem with the manufacturing process? Why or why not? Well, let's first start with A. The sampling distribution, as you're going to learn in future videos, the sampling distribution of the sample mean has a certain shape, center, and spread. The shape. If the sample size is 30 or more, no matter what the population, the shape of the sample means, that distribution of sample means, will be normal, will be bell-shaped. If the original population, which we know to be normally distributed, the sample size doesn't matter. So this distribution will be normal even though that the sample size is less than 30 because it's coming from a population that is already normal. The center, this sampling distribution will have the same center as the population. So we know that this will be equal to 12 years. The spread is what changes. The spread is always going to be smaller and the spread is dependent upon the sample size. We call this spread a special name is called the standard error and it turns out to be equal to the population standard deviation sigma in this case it's 1.25 divided by the square root of the sample size how big of a sample are you taking in this case it turns out to be 10 so the spread for this sampling distribution will be smaller than the population spread which is measured by the standard deviation and is equal to 1.25. Using a calculator, the standard error rounded off is 0.395. So I would like to show how do we get that standard error using technology, using a calculator. Here we have two types of calculator. This is a graphing calculator and this is a scientific calculator from the computer. I'll start with the graph and calculator. So we want to compute what is sigma, which is 1.25, divided by the square root of the sample size, which in this case is 10. So we want to take 1.25 and we want to divide that by the square root of 10. So for this calculator, I have to hit second and then the x squared to get the square root and then I type in 10. So this is 1.25 divided by the square root of 10. I hit equals and I get roughly 0.395. To do this on a scientific calculator, most scientific calculators, you type in the numerator 1.25, then you hit divide, and then you hit the number 10, and then you hit the square root. Now, this 3.16227, this is the square root of 10. I have to complete this by hitting equals. So if you notice up here, this is just telling me this is the square root of 10. So I'm taking 1.25 and dividing it by this number, which is the square root of 10. I have to hit equals to complete it. And now I get 0.395 rounded off. Notice these two are the same values. So whatever calculator that you're using, so just get used to how to input square roots into that calculator and you'll be fine. Let's go back to the problem. So now that we know the mean 
is 1.25 for this new distribution. It is bell-shaped and now that we know that the spread called the standard error is 1.25 divided by square root of n, now we can answer part b. The mean is 12 and we want to compute what is the probability that it is less than 8. Computing the standard error, which is the measure of the spread for this distribution, using our calculator we got 0 0.395 and some change. So let's do our z-score. So we're going to take our x, the number that we're interested in, we want 8. We subtract the mean, which is 12, and then we divide it by the spread, which is the standard error. And it's always a good idea to take the standard error to at least six decimal places. So using our z-score formula, we're going to get negative 4 divided by the standard error, and that rounds to, rounding off to two decimal places, a negative 10.12. That is telling us this is 10 standard deviations below the mean. It's actually more than 10 standard deviations below the mean. This is very, very, very unusual. So using table 5, if we look in the table, that is off the charts. The smallest z-score that we can find on the table is a negative 3.49. This is a lot smaller, so we're going to use the default number of 0 .0001. Now if you're using StatCrunch, it will give you, it may say less than 0 .0001. Or it may give you a scientific notation value which is going to be a very small number. So this is very, very unusual. So part C, I would say yes, we have a problem. The probability of getting a sample of 10 dishwashers that have a mean that is less than 8 years is only 0 .0001. And it's actually smaller than that. So this is very unusual. So it is likely something else that is affecting the mean of this sample, like a problem in the manufacturing process. Thanks for watching.